How far out do you think the boundaries of space stretch up to when you think of the universe and the infinite galaxies that exist in them? A simple guess would be, to the end of our solar system? Right where the last planet, Neptune ends, right? But what if you were to discover that there exists alien worlds far reaching beyond the limits of our very solar system and the Milky Way? That there are planets, some habitable and some with layers of solid ice, lurking in the abyss of the universe? Well, not just planets but asteroids, galaxies and dark matter that is invisible but radiating energies. So, what actually makes up the universe is not merely the composition of planets we know of or the asteroid showers we hear or witness. There is so much more in the depths of the cosmos that has been loitering around for billions of years. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. If you were to cross over the very boundaries of our Milky Way, the universe, which otherwise appears to be a formless, shapeless void of nothingness, you'll transcend into a colossal treasure trove of otherworldly objects. Or heavenly bodies free-floating through the mysterious dark matters of the interstellar and intergalactic space. Considering the observable width of the universe to be approximately 93 billion light-years in diameter, there remains no doubt in the presence of rogue planets, stars and galaxies in the empty dark space. Of these many rogue planets roaming around freely in the yawning space, some are closer to Earth. Besides, the presence of dark matter, dark energy, dwarf planets and distant stars make the whole spectrum of the universe an enthralling experience. Thanks to the Voyager spacecrafts, an invisible chaotic region with frothing activity, influenced by the electromagnetic waves beyond our solar system, was discovered. Composing exoplanets, the stars, black holes, dark matter, other massive galaxies, and much more. So let's do a deep dive into these celestial enigmas. First off we have. Exoplanets. This is the term given to planets located outside our solar system. These planets orbit a star, just like how Earth orbits the Sun. From rocky planets to gas giants, the special thing about exoplanets is the fact that they are diverse in nature. There are Jupiter-like large gas giants, called hot Jupiters that remain very close to their host star. The mini-Neptunes and super-Earths are the most common type of exoplanets. They can either be huge rocky planets or gas planets smaller than Neptune. Then there are exoplanets called ocean worlds, with a rocky core and are entirely covered by a vast liquid ocean running hundreds of kilometers deep. Lastly, there are Earth or Mars-like planets with a solid surface but may or may not contain small oceans or have an atmosphere. And thanks to the invention of the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS, scientists have discovered 5,500-plus exoplanets existing beyond our solar system. In March 2022 alone, NASA discovered 65 exoplanets. In fact, exoplanets also have an exomoon just like our moon or extrasolar moons that orbit them. The first hot Jupiter exoplanet to be discovered was the 51 Pegasi b, in 1995, and is situated 50 light years away from Earth. The latest terrestrial exoplanet to join the list is TOA 700 e, a rocky planet situated 102 light-years away. These exoplanets are often also referred to as free-floating or rogue planets. Believe it or not, it is more likely that there might be over a trillion exoplanets in our Milky Way galaxy alone. Brown Dwarfs These are substellar objects that have more mass than the big gas giant planets, like Jupiter and that of a small star. According to astronomers, any celestial object with mass between 15 to 75 times that of Jupiter, is a brown dwarf. These strange cosmic objects are not big enough to sustain nuclear fusion of ordinary hydrogen and are often also considered as a failed star. So far the discovery of brown dwarfs has been part of a binary system. 
It is a system in which two stars orbit around one another. Dwarf Planets These celestial objects, roughly spherical in shape, are planets that orbit a star and often have comets, asteroids, or other dwarf planets near them. Since they are smaller in size, dwarf planets lack the gravitational pull required to pull the surrounding material found in their orbits. According to the International Astronomical Union there are officially five dwarf planets in the solar system. Pluto, Eris, Ceres, Makemake, and Haumea. Fun fact, each known dwarf planet in our solar system is actually smaller than Earth's moon. Our moon is less than a third of the width of Earth with a radius of about 1,080 miles. So in the current scenario, there may exist hundreds and thousands of dwarf planets in the solar system. Galaxies A galaxy is a huge collection of gas, dust, stars and their solar systems. Held together by gravity, galaxies vary in shape and size. There are eight galaxy types categorized as per their shape. Spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, lenticular galaxies, irregular galaxies, active galaxies, Seyfert galaxies, quasars, and blazers. While the largest galaxy, located more than a million light years across, will have trillions of stars, the smallest galaxy can comprise a few thousand stars and span just a few hundred light years. As far as the age of galaxies is concerned, they are almost billions of years old. However, there are a few galaxies which are almost as old as the universe, having formed around 13.8 billion years ago. According to astronomers, the youngest known galaxy formed approximately 500 million years ago. As per some scientists, there could be as many as 100 billion galaxies in the universe. A mesmerizing fact, the Hubble Space Telescope once looked at a small patch of space for 12 days and found 10,000 galaxies, of all sizes, shapes, and colors. The closest galactic neighbor to our Milky Way is the Andromeda Galaxy, which has confirmed the presence of many exoplanets. This barred spiral galaxy is approximately 2.5 million light-years from Earth. If scientific predictions are to be believed, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are expected to collide in around 4 to 5 billion years. Asteroids About 13.8 billion years ago when the Big Bang happened, the explosion left behind airless rocky remnants that have been orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. And thanks to the presence of gravitational pull in space, the remnants get sucked in and eventually crash into neighboring planets. These leftover remnants from the early formation of our solar system, are also known as minor planets or asteroids. Currently, there are about 1.3 million known asteroids. And the study of asteroids will help scientists determine the formation of our universe. In recent development, NASA scientists had sent the spacecraft OSIRIS-REx to carbon-rich asteroid Bennu and collected samples from it. It is one of the most potentially hazardous asteroids with a high probability of impacting the Earth around the year 2182. Bennu is about one-third of a mile wide at its equator, and is touted to be an ancient relic of our solar system's early days, containing more than 4.5 billion years of history. Fun fact, the total mass of all the asteroids in the main asteroid belt combined, is less than that of Earth's moon. And after all, with these known celestial objects, we have something that scientists and astronomers are still trying to learn about. Dark matter. To explain it in simpler terms, in the realm of the universe, matter is defined by anything that holds mass and occupies space. Just like the planets, moons, stars and everything else. But the universe also embodies matter that is invisible, known as the dark matter. The presence of dark matter is detected by its gravitational bends and currently makes up roughly 30% of the universe's total mass. 
Its gravity drives gas and dust to collect and build up into stars, galaxies, and massive galaxy clusters, thus playing a very prime role in the cosmos. And now NASA is constructing a new space telescope called the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which is scheduled to launch in May 2027. The focus of the telescope will be to observe the star streams that orbit Andromeda. Astronomers believe that in the gaps between the star streams there exists mysterious dark matter. The telescope will provide images which are 200 times the size of those provided currently by the infrared camera on board the Hubble Space Telescope. There is also the Vera Rubin ground-based optical observatory in Chile, which may give its first results as early as 2025. One of its main scientific goals is to study dark energy and dark matter. So, did you ever think that after our last planet Neptune and way beyond the Kuiper Belt, the nothingness of the outer solar system could be home to so much? And with each passing day as astronomers and scientists dig deeper into the ocean of space and universe, we learn a bit more about the alien worlds. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.